one with my blade. Excuse me, have you perchance seen any evil spirits? Oh, my apologies. You're not from around here, are you? This question must sound a little confusing to you. I'm Chong Yun, a local exorcist from Liu. Those versed in the arts of exorcism refer to all forms of demons and monsters as evil spirits. Evil spirits have existed since ancient times. They lurk among the shadows in the lands of Liyue, stirring up all sorts of trouble and mischief. It is my duty to exorcise or destroy them, and protect the citizens here from their evil doings. How did you come to know of the vigilant Yaksha? I have great respect for the Yakshas. For generations, Yakshas and exorcists have been protecting Liyue together. One in plain sight, and the other in secret. Sorry, I digress. Judging from your response, it seems you aren't well versed in the realm of evil spirits. But that's understandable. If I may ask, have you happened to come across anything strange recently? Sometimes even the most trivial matters prove helpful in my hunt for evil spirits. Oh, I see. Well, fair enough. In that case, I guess I'll just have to try my luck with the clues I already have. <sighs> Only some scattered reports, really. Nothing too significant yet. But if you're interested, I can tell you about some of the more useful ones I've gathered so far. I read a flyer that said, The test of courage is now being held on Wu Wang Hill. Bring your best friend and test your courage together. Then, recently, the sounds of footsteps and shouting have been heard outside people's windows at night. The noises have frightened the children and they are unable to sleep. And a huge shadow has appeared in Guayli Plains. It flies and swirls, summons down fireballs, and makes all sorts of strange noises. Cases such as these might actually be worth our attention. Hmm. Unless there was a problem with the drinks, I don't think drunkards would scare the children that much. <sighs> Do you think I'm not deciphering these clues correctly? I think the clue about the test of courage is the most relevant one I have so far. If strange things have been happening at the event, then evil spirits may well be the cause. <sighs> but there's an unusual requirement for this event. You must be a team of two people in order to participate. Huh? Strengthen the relationship? Oh, sorry. I, I don't really get- Anyway, if you have the time, would you join me for this event? You seem to have a good eye for discerning these clues. With your adventuring experience, I'm sure we'll track it. Ah, uh, thank you. I was starting to worry that I wouldn't be able to find a partner. We should make haste. If there are evil spirits at the event, then things could get dangerous. Please be careful, everyone. Pay close attention to your surroundings and stay vigilant once you enter. And most importantly, don't get separated from your partner and wander off on your own. You'll most certainly be in for a scare if you go alone. Did you hear that? He's warning the event participants. Maybe something strange really did happen here. Let's investigate. <laughs> Welcome to the test of courage. You two must be very close friends. Actually, we just met. <laughs> no problem at all. Don't be shy. J but please drink this before you enter the test of courage. This drink will boost the yang energy inside your body and lift your courage. 
Not only that, but this drink will also allow you to see things which are usually hidden from the naked eye. Pretty exciting, huh? Y yang energy? That's right. Ghosts are said to be full of yin energy, so more yang energy will surely deter them. Oh, I've never heard of such a drink. Is it a secret recipe? Or maybe some kind of potion? Hmm, possibly. But why bother exaggerating it so much then? But if this drink really does boost yang energy, then it's potentially dangerous for me. <sighs> you see, I have a very rare constitution called a pure yang spirit. Such a constitution allows me to scare away evil spirits, but it also makes me prone to emotional impulses. I am constantly focusing to keep my mind and body in a normal state, which usually works until I suffer from some external stress. Come now, what's with that serious expression on your face, lad? You aren't worried about the drink, are you? It's delicious and quite effective if I do say so myself. There's nothing to worry about. Or if you're still unsure, perhaps only one of you could take the drink. The person who takes the drink can protect the one who doesn't. It'll be exciting either way. Hmm. It's hard to refuse when you put it that way. All right, here it is. Please drink it slowly. Ha-ha! <laughs> yes, that's it. You did great. You two may enter. I'm starting to feel something after that drink. Uh, no, no, I'll be fine. Let's go investigate the area. So this is the test of courage. Oh, there are more people here than I imagined. They could all be in grave danger if there really is an evil spirit here. We must get to the bottom of this. I'm not too sure where we should start, but I know we'll find something once we start looking. These innocent participants are completely oblivious to the potential danger here. W what? Please, enlighten. I see. Maybe you're right. I'm certainly a stranger to entertainment, after all. I mostly spend my time purging evil spirits and practicing thaumaturgy. Besides training, I also need to constantly focus on my own emotions to avoid losing control. So I rarely have any time for leisure activities. I'm completely unfamiliar with what others would consider entertainment. Hmm. Well, either way, let's check the area for any evil spirits just in case. Where should we start? All right, all right, don't lose your temper. We're leaving now, okay? Hmm. To think I used to believe you were brave. Uh, but this is different. Excuse me, but I couldn't help but overhear your conversation. Did you perchance encounter an evil spirit? If so, I'm here to track it. Could you please tell me which direction it went? Uh, who are you? No, I didn't see anything, so don't ask. So please just leave me alone. I don't know what you're talking about, and I certainly don't want anything to do with an evil spirit. My apologies. Perhaps you misunderstood what I meant. I only wish to know what the spirit looks like, and which way it went so we could track it down. If you can't describe its appearance, then at least show us the way it went. Uh, show you the way? No, I'm not going anywhere. No, no, we're not taking you anywhere. I am just asking you to show us... Ugh, no! Get it! All right, that's enough. Listen, if you keep talking like that, she might actually end up believing in that nonsense. Can't you see she's terrified enough already? You could go find whatever strange things you're looking for on your own. Uh, my apologies. I didn't mean to frighten. Yes, I'm just trying to hunt the evil spirit you mentioned to prevent it from hurting anyone. Isn't it a bit strange for an exorcist to come to the test of courage looking for evil spirits? Oh, I think I get it now. 
but we didn't say anything about a ghost or spirit. I think you misunderstood us. I brought my girlfriend here to have some fun, but instead she got frightened by all this spooky atmosphere. Now we'll just have to go home. <sighs> I'm not too sure what you're looking for, but we did see some dark shadows making strange noises. Thank you very much. That's very helpful. Well, you heard it. It seems something unusual is going on here. But why would they ever want to come here if they get scared so easily? Interesting. I have never had any fear of evil spirits, so perhaps I'm unable to understand their feelings. It's amazing that you're able to pick up on that. Good thing I brought you as my partner. Anyway, let's keep searching the area. These are traces left by an evil spirit. No doubt about it. The traces are quite weak, though. So there are only two possibilities. Either the spirit that left the traces is very weak, or it has already left for some time now. Either way, these possibilities prove my hunch that there's indeed an evil spirit here. No, I don't think so. There have been many rumors regarding the cause of Wu Wang Hill's gloomy aura, but nothing is certain. Although, once it became the murky place you see now, it also began to attract more evil spirits. Anyway, these traces lead us one step closer to finding an evil spirit. Don't come over here again! Seriously, just leave me alone! Wh why must you be so obstinate? Just calm down. It's not what you think. No, don't even bother. You think I don't know what you're doing? Stop. Not a step closer. Don't be afraid. I'll exercise it right now. Exercise it? What? Who are you? And what are you talking about? Wait, what? Oh, he's just a person? Uh, it seems I've made a mistake. After seeing her resist so violently, I thought for sure an evil spirit was trying to harm her. Nah, it's not like that at all. She's just throwing a tantrum. Excuse me? A tantrum? <laughs> this is supposed to be a date, you know? And now that we're finally here, you don't want to go anywhere and you just want to hang around the entrance. What's the point in that? All right, fine. I was just about to walk in with you. Look, I'm sorry. I'm just a little bit scared, that's all. That's why I've been stalling. I was wrong, okay? Now that someone else is here, let's take a moment to calm down. <sighs> I wasn't thinking clearly. It was pure impulse. I'm sorry. Please, forgive me. Will you give me another chance? <laughs> Fine. I know I shouldn't have yelled at you. Oh, it doesn't matter anymore. You're still the best, babe. <laughs> Who said you could call me babe? You're so annoying! Ah, uh, so they really are on a date? But why in such a dangerous place like this? <sighs> Perhaps we should just leave them alone. If not babe, then how about darling? <laughs> Don't you try to... Uh, sorry. Sorry, I feel unwell. Uh, I think the drink we had earlier stirred the yang energy inside my body. If there's too much yang energy, uh, I'm afraid that I won't be able to control myself. Even though you were willing to accompany me this far, uh, if I lose control, I fear that I'll be the one endangering everyone here, not evil spirits. <sighs> we better find somewhere to rest. Sorry to trouble you again. Uh, uh, uh. The feeling... It's becoming more intense. Uh, 
Usually, I can manage by simply eating a popsicle. <clears throat> but that's only under normal circumstance. I may need something <sighs> a bit more potent in this case. Like cryo slime condensate or cryo whopper flower nectar. You've collected these during your adventures, right? But I'm afraid they're no good. They're not fresh enough. Perhaps they're fine as typical ingredients, but they won't be potent enough to suppress the abundance of yang energy inside me. Thank you. I'll be resting here. I should be able to manage for the time being if I just focus on keeping calm. It's dangerous to walk alone here, isn't it? You have no idea who or what you'll meet. Hmm, you seem to be pretty calm. You know, there's a saying, you can't keep your shoes dry if you're walking along the river. You're bound to run into something in such a strange and eerie place. And what you encounter here could become a nightmare that haunts you for the rest of your life. Huh? How are you so calm? People usually run away in terror before I can finish a sentence. Yes, I have one, but it's too hot to wear. And besides, a more sophisticated way to play a ghost is to create a creepy atmosphere that scares people psychologically. In which case, my appearance becomes irrelevant. Besides, I'll never be able to scare someone like you who doesn't believe in... Hey, that's not true! Oh, I better go find some wimps to scare now. You should go back and find your partner. He might be terrified by now. Ooh. Thanks for finding these ingredients for me. I feel much better now. Although I still feel the yang energy stirring, at least I won't need to worry about it getting out of control. Uh, so, did you find any new leads when you were out? Huh? Oh, so that's what's going on here? Does that mean all the strange things here are just a hoax? I... I, I see. So I was wrong again. Uh, in that case, I suppose there's no reason for us to linger here any longer. Yes, that was proof of an evil spirit's presence. But we can't be sure that the spirits still exist. Actually, I would also like to investigate that further. You're right. I'll focus my mind and spirit. Perhaps it'd be more effective for us to split up. Evil spirits will keep their distance if they sense the power of my pure yang spirit. So you'll be more likely to find one if you're on your own.
Another means to the same end. Don't worry about me. Purging it is the priority. I'll take this side, you take the other side. Let's move. away, but you have to ask the exorcist to let me go, okay? Um, yeah, but it'll be complicated. I've already got a plan. You must believe me. So, um, what do you say? Um, uh, okay. So, I'll take that as a yes. I hope the exorcist with blue hair is a good person. Um, so... I'll help him, and you'll go talk to him. Hopefully then he'll leave me alone. Hey, you've been turning the whole place upside down looking for evil spirits. Other participants are starting to complain. Yeah, why would an exorcist show up at the test of courage and tell everyone that there are no ghosts here? You're just stirring- Honestly, I find this whole thing quite confusing. If there really are ghosts here, then you're using them to make Mora regardless of the participant's safety. You tell me, is that ethical business practice? And if there are no ghosts here, then your so-called test of courage is nothing but a big scam. Not only are you avoiding my questions, but now you accuse me of causing trouble? I've already told you! This is what kind of event the test of courage is. It's not our problem that you're taking it so seriously. And now that you're disturbing our participants, we'll have to ask you to leave. If anything about this made any sense at all, I would leave of my own volition. But if I leave now, I'm leaving evil spirits to their own devices. Oh! The ghost! There's a ghost! Run for your life! What? What's going on? Everyone's starting to panic. I is there really a ghost? <sighs> Don't be silly. But if everyone starts running, someone could get hurt. Everyone, just calm down. No need to panic, please. I see. So there's no evil spirits here, just a wandering ghost. And she scared everyone away because I was in trouble? If things are as you say, and she doesn't seem like a malignant spirit. <sighs> All right. As long as she promises not to harm anyone, then I'll pretend that I never knew about her. However, if she ever does harm anyone, it'll be my job as an exorcist to come and purge her. No. No, no. This is my call. I shall take full responsibility. <sighs> we should go now. It doesn't seem we're particularly welcome here any- What's wrong? I have faith in my judgment of good and evil. But if I begin to neglect my perception of good and evil, it may lead to something I'd regret for the rest of my days. Wait, you mean you didn't think I could be fair and reasonable? Really? Do I look so obstinate? Yeah, you're right. All right, we should leave now. Uh, okay. Fourth, my play. A 
I'm starting to feel something after that drink. Uh, no, no, I'll be fine. Let's go investigate the area. <sighs> so this is the test of courage. They could all be in grave danger. I'm not too sure where we should... These innocent participants are completely obl... What? Please, enlighten me. You mean... Being scared is like entertainment to them? I see. <sighs> Maybe you're right. I mostly spend my time purging evil spirits and practicing thaumaturgy. Besides training, I also need to constantly focus on my own emotions to avoid... So I rarely have any time for leisure activity. <sighs> well, either way, let's check the area for any evil... Either way, these possibilities... No, I don't... Although, anyway... This is all you... All right, all... Hmm. Uh, but this is... Excuse me, but I couldn't... If so... Uh, who are you? No, I... So... My apology. If you can't... Uh, no, no. Uh, no. All right, that... Can't you see... Uh, my apologies. Yes. And Isn't it a bitch? Uh, I brought my... Thank you for- Well, you heard- But why would they ever want to come here if they get interested? It's a me- Anyway. Don't come over here! Seriously! Just- What? what? Just calm down- No, don't even- Stop! Don't be a for- Exercise- what? Wait, what? Oh, after see- Nah. It Excuse- And now that- all right, look, uh, now that someone else is here, let's take a moment to calm down. Uh, I wasn't thinking clear. I'm sorry, please. <laughs> oh. Uh. 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 Uh, sorry, uh, I think the drink, if there's too much yang energy, if I lose control. All right. You are an experienced adventurer, after all. I won't be far, so just... Ugh, I'm beat. Finally, I can take a break. Ugh. I wonder if I took things a little too far. You can... Huh? Hey, you shouldn't be here. Ugh. Never mind. I assume you overheard me anyway. I work here pretending to be a ghost, but now's my break time, so I took off my costume. Get all hot and stuffy wearing that thing. Of course, how could there be real ghosts here? No one wants to see a real ghost, neither us nor the participants. We just come here for the atmosphere, or should I say, the chance. Everyone wants the chance to feel the thrill of excitement. If people find themselves in a scary situation, they'll say things that they'd never dare to otherwise. That's what the test of courage is all about. <sighs> okay. I should get back to work now. Hope you and whoever you're here with have a fun time. Oh, you're back. So how did it go? Huh? S no evil spirits? No danger? It's all just a setup? I... I 
see. It seems I've been tricked again. Uh-oh. I'm starting to feel more and more uncomfortable. Now that everything's settled here, let's head back to Li Yuwa Har But could you help me walk back? It's fine. I'll be okay. No, really. I'm fine. I take my meals cold to quiet the spirit and calm my vital energies. Qingxin infused water with ice is the most effective. Thanks for finding these ingredients for me. Although I still feel the... Uh, so, did you... Huh? Well, does that mean all the strange things here are just a hoax? I... Uh, I see. So I was... Uh, in that case, I suppose there's no reason for us to linger here any longer. Oh, sorry. This has all been a waste of your precious time. Hmm. <laughs> You're very kind. At least we checked the test of courage together and verified that the place is clear of danger. Hmm. <sighs> But if only we had found some evil spirits, then it all would have been... Heart be pure, evil be... Uh, huh? Sorry, I'll leave now. No, please, relax. There's no need to worry. No, there's my sister. I'm her big bro. Oh, you. Oh, it's I see. Well, these pop. Oh, you're right. I'll just have to make do without my popsicles then. Here, my young friend, you can have my last two popsicles. You and your sister can each have one. Really? Wow. Thanks a lot. <laughs> Just wait till my sister tries this. I haven't seen her smile in a long time. Whoa, that's already starting to... I never expected that something I used to suppress my yang energy would be... <sighs> but I wonder how I'll manage without any popsicles. I usually get my popsicles from one min restaurant on special order. The ingredients are not complicated, but the restaurant is always bustling with business, and Chef Mao is usually too busy to take my- Now that I've used all my supply, I'll have to trouble him to make more- Oh, no need. I'm sure I can manage it on my own. It's nothing to worry about. Over the years, I've grown quite accustomed to the discipline required to rein in my condition. But if you're offering to come along, then I won't refuse. <sighs> all right. Please follow me to Wan Min Restaurant. I ride on wind and cloud alike. Cheap and tasty job doing. Oh, this is bad. Chef Mao is not at the restaurant right now, and neither is Xiangling. We'll have to wait until he returns. What do we do about the evil spirits? Oh, are you a good cook? Then I'll leave it to you. Thanks for your help. Uh, I'm afraid all I know is that it requires water. But to imbue the effect that suppresses my yang energy, perhaps something special is required. Like different plants, fruits, or herbs, for example. Do you have any experience with such things? Oh, that sounds about right. Coming up with the right ingredients off the top of your head like that? You most certainly are an experienced adventurer. Have you procured all the ingredients? Cheap and tasty job doing! Are they finished? Oh, they look exactly like the ones Chef Mao makes for me. Let me try one. <clears throat> yes. Good. This is the right feeling. 
I can sense the energy. Thank you, Traveler. Now I have lots of popsicles. Your skills are amazing. If I'd known you possessed such skills, we could have made more for that kid and his family. <laughs> right. But he mentioned his family is not well off. Exorcism is my means of helping the people of Liyue live more peaceful and happy lives. If that kid really needs my help, then helping him would be just different means to the same. All right. I remember the kid mentioned that he was headed for Chihu Rock. Let's go find him. Where did you get these? I didn't give you any Mora. You didn't steal them, did you? No, I didn't steal them. I talked to a nice person and they just gave them to me. So you've been asking for food on the street? I've already told you such behavior makes you look uneducated. How could you ask a stranger for food? Is that any different from being a beggar? But I didn't ask them for it. They asked me if I wanted some. That's it. No more lies. Just be honest about your mistake. Uh, excuse me. He got those popsicles from me. He never asked us. We just gave them to him. Uh, yeah, this is the nice person I was telling you about. What? what? Who are you? My name is Chung Yoon. As you could probably tell from my attire, I'm an exorcist. Your son really seemed interested in popsicles, so we thought we'd make a batch for you. That's why we're paying you a visit. Uh, oh, I see. Sorry, I seem to have misunderstood him. I'm sorry, Delong. It was wrong for Mommy to blame you. It's okay, Mommy. So, am I allowed to talk to the nice popsicle man? Sure. But please keep an eye on your sister. Mommy will be back after some errands, okay? Don't worry. I'll look after her. Bye, Mommy. Thanks. If it wasn't for you, I would have been in big trouble again. Thank you for the popsicle. It was so cool and delicious. Oh, wow. Look at all the popsicles. Thanks. Okay, I got it. Thanks, you guys. You're like heroes. Heroes? Yeah. I've been telling a story to my sister recently, and she admires the story's heroes very much. They're chivalrous, just, and they help the weak fight against evil. And the heroes always have a good partner. One hero can beat up two bad guys, but with a good partner, they can defeat even more. You two must be very good partners. Uh, well... Yay, I knew it! You two must get along well together. Um, we're gonna go play right now. <gasps> oh, would you come and play with them? Don't be so childish. I'm sure heroes like them have important things. Huh? You mean you can't play? Huh? Oh, well, well, I... Uh, sorry, could I have a word with you, Traveler? They look so excited to play with us, but I'm sure they'll be disappointed if we refuse. Uh, sure, that's fine. No, it's nothing. I'm just... a little bit worried. I spend most of my time purging evil spirits and practicing thaumaturgy. And besides my training, I also need to constantly focus deeply on my own emotions to avoid losing control. So, what I mean is that I seldom have time for anything that others would consider fun. I don't even know the first thing about playing with Kit. They think we're heroes, so they must be very excited to play with us. But I'm afraid they'll just find me... boring. Ah, oh, great. That's reassuring. All right. Let's give it a try, but I'll need your help if I don't know what to do. Hey, they're back! So can we go play now? Uh, yeah. I'll try. <laughs> Yay! No need to be nervous. We're gonna have a blast. Um, oh, I know. Um, uh, let's play hide and seek. Um, you'll be the ghost, but, um, don't peek in... Who? Me? Okay, we'll go hide now. You'll have to find all three of us if you want to win. <laughs> You'll never be able to find me. You mean, we just hide anywhere we want? Of course, silly. That's the most... But don't follow me. There's only room for one person in my secret hiding spot. Uh, all right. 
but I still don't really know what to do. You're right. I'll give it a try. Yay! Let's go hide! No peeking now. I never expected you to find me so easily. I thought that this would be the perfect spot. In fact, I'm well versed in the methods of locating evil spirits, and I have lots of experience tracking down their hiding spot. This spot is dusty and a bit gloomy, which gives off an unsettling energy. Evil spirits usually prefer such places. Yeah, I guess my experience as an exorcist doesn't apply very well. Since I've been found, I guess I must admit my defeat. It's a simple game, yet quite intriguing once you begin to play. Sure, we can invite more friends to join us. Let's go. I can't believe I lost. I didn't expect you to be so good at this. Hmm. Mommy's still not back yet. Do you two know how to cook at all? Don't be so selfish. They played with us for a long time already. Well, if we played for so long, then a little longer won't hurt. No, it's all right. But I'm not too picky about the taste of food, as long as it doesn't make me feel unwell. Unwell? Are you sick? Mommy says you should always take care of yourself. No, it's not so serious. I just need to be careful about what I eat. For example, noodles with mountain delicacies. The dish tastes great, but I can't eat anything warm. So I came up with my own variation called cold noodles with mountain delicacies. Well, I don't think they taste quite as good as when they're served warm. No way! I'm sure it's just as good as the popsicles. Uh, well... Hmm... All right. We can use the kitchen here. I'll prepare the noodles once all the ingredients are ready. <laughs> are all the ingredients ready? So, how does it taste? Unique. I guess I'll take that as a compliment. Let's serve the dish to the kids. I hope they'll like it. Wow, it tastes amazing. Mm. You're not only a hero, is there more? I want second. Me too, me too. Whoa, slow down there. There's plenty more. Oh, I'm so full. Now that we're done, let's play more games. More games? This is completely unexpected for me. I was sure that everyone would just think I'm boring. No way! You're so much fun! And if you weren't so icy 
all the time. Come on, let's go. 